<laughs> well, you, you mentioned <laughs> Alex Turner there, and you, you, you've always, you, you've had a long um, relationship with Alex and and the Arctic Monkeys over the years. Um, I, I can actually remember watching, well, just researching you a little bit for this interview today. I can remember a, a part of an interview you had. You were you, you were selling out venues at the time, and you said yourself, you can't see what you do transferring into arenas um, and that kind of stuff. But my last uh, experience of seeing you live was opening for the Arctic Monkeys at Sheffield Arena. Oh, right, the arena, yeah, that's yeah. right. I did one of the nights. They, what did they do, five nights there or something? Five I nights in Sheffield, yeah. Form, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. And I did I did one of them because I was, I was doing a show uh, in somewhere like Bradford or something mm. like that, maybe, you know, one of those places around your area. Yeah. And uh, it was very easy. And, you know, it was, a, it was a great opportunity, you know, and as you say, you know, I have done arenas since then, thanks to Alex Turner, largely. Wow. <laughs> It was, uh, you know, I mean, it was such a thrill to when they did uh, I Want to Be Yours, yeah, you know, on AM. That was just, what a treat. You know, me and the message and, and my, my little girl, we went to see them at, uh, at um, uh, Earl's Court. Mm. And that was the, it was the high point of the evening. It was the, it was the encore number. Wow. It was the number after that, uh, you know, the the you know the the balloons came down and yeah. it was end end of the night, you know. But it was such a such a thrill, you know, to be responsible for something that has that much of an effect on so many people at once was, uh, you know, <laughs> massive thrill. Yeah. Thank you very much, Alex, and and the rest of the Arctic Monkeys. They're, they're great guys. Yeah, they're great guys. We met them about two weeks. I was doing a show with the Fall, I think it was mm. at the. Uh, Boardwalk, mm. and uh, you know in Sheffield. Mm. You will, will you remember that? I've, you played, remember I've that? played in bands there many times over the years. It's a real great, shame it's not around venue. anymore. Yeah, it's a real shame it ain't around yeah. anymore. It's a great venue, yeah. And uh, I was just packing up to to go home, and uh, and the uh, I think his name was Chris, one of the managers. Chris there. Wilson. So you mind having... Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, sort of dressed like a Ted. Looks like George Harrison. I always thought. Yeah, yeah, good-looking kid. Yeah. yeah, that's right, that's him, yeah. Yeah, yeah nice bloke. Yeah. Anyway, he says, will you have a word with these lads? You know, they've just come to say hello. They're big fans of yours. They did mm. your stuff at school. They've just left school. They've got a band together. So I thought, that's great. You know, to, you don't hear of that so much anymore. You no. know, school pals forming mm. a band. It's like the Beatles, isn't it? It's proper. You well, know, four pals. Well, the boardwalk at proper. that the boardwalk at that time, Alex used to work behind the bar there, Reverend and the yeah, Makers. Yeah, that. John McClure yeah. and everybody, they, they were all around working for the pub at that time. It's It sprouted many bands. Milburn, Joe, Car- uh, Joe Carnell, um, the Arctic Monkeys started, Reverend and the Makers all came out of that area of, of, of Sheffield yeah. from the boardwalk. It were great times. Yeah, great times, really good. So anyway, I was, I was delighted to meet them. They were real yeah. nice kids, shy like, you know, teenagers can be, mm. you know, and things like that. But I said, what are they called? You know, what's the name of this band? And they said, Arctic, the Arctic Monkeys. I said, oh, well, that, that's got success written all over it. You know, sometimes you can tell by a name, you know. Yeah. These people that call themselves, you know, the running sores, you know what I mean? That, <laughs> you're not going to get in the fucking hit parade with a name like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, but Arctic Monkeys, yeah. I mean, that's a situation. A monkey in the North Pole. I mean, that you've got a situation right there. Do, That's really an emergency. Do. Get that monkey out of there. Well, He's I... from a hot country. You're going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> so already you've got a dialogue about the name, the Arctic yeah. Monkeys. On the other hand, it just rolls out. It's a great name. It's, it, it, it's an Arctic amazing name. Monkeys. And just, yeah. just to let you know, uh, the Arctic Monkeys supported my band the first ever gig they played. In Sheffield. Did they? So yeah, it were, you know, Thanks I've got giving them the <laughs> so they so you give them their big chance, right? Is that what you're saying, Carl? Yeah. Well, what were uh, you called? We we were called the Sound at the time. Um, That's a good name. Yeah, and it was uh, at the Grapes in Sheffield. And what what struck what 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 stood out straight away is just how professional they were as a band. It was the first ever gig, yeah. and I I still don't see professional bands do this these days. I don't see them. They, they basically, when it was their sound check, they got everybody out to make sure that their sound was the best it could be, and they weren't distracted in any way at all. And professional st- from the from the first ever gig. I still don't see that with professional bands these days. Yeah. No, they're all they're all prima donnas before the event now, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> a definitely. legend on their own laptop. <laughs> <laughs> oh but yeah, no, they're, they're, that's what I mean. Real old school, you know, in a good yeah. way. 
Yeah. You know that sort of learn, learning your chops and getting it right and uh, using every opportunity to further the cause yeah. of the band. That's that's what it's all about, man. Mm. And it, you know that sort of that sort of clo- they're, they're like a closed little closed society amongst themselves. They got yeah. their they've all, they've all got their little side projects, but you can see that mm. the main thing is the Arctic Monkeys, yeah. you know. And uh, it's just great. And thanks for giving them that first opportunity, Carl. It's re- very kind of you. Well, you know, I'm, <laughs> I bet I'm, they didn't get. I bet they didn't get a second bite of the apple. <laughs> <did they? laughs> well, you I'm, don't want people, you don't want the support act going down too well, do you? <laughs> Let's face it. <laughs> well, I've lived on that agni- anecdote for probably. <laughs> 20, 20 years now, John. So uh, <laughs> I've enjoyed bringing it out again to share with you, my friend. <laughs> no, thanks for doing that. And uh, you know, I, I'm speaking on behalf of the of the rock loving world mm. when I say thanks for giving them that opportunity, <laughs> that early opportunity.